everyone, and happy fall, happy upcoming Thanksgiving, Halloween, all the things that are great about this time of year. And on the Central Coast, that means harvest time. And so it is big fun to be drinking some big wines with the big personality of Tobin James in his home at the Templeton Gap. You are lucky in the mixed shipment to get your Silver Reserve Cabernet. This is a beautiful wine and one you're really proud of. Yeah, definitely. Um, we, uh, the, the, w the Cabernet, Cabernet is still king in Paso Robles. You hear a lot about Zinfandel and some of the Rome varietals, but Cabernet is still king in Paso Robles. Uh, lots of um, wineries, even from Napa, buy our grapes here. And that's always been the case. Yeah. Our Cabernet grapes have always been right up there. It, it's, it has a following that, um, you know, Cabernet's king and Chardonnay is queen of, of, of in California. And um, I think the Cabernet in this area, it's, it's got the climate where um, it's not real coastal so that, uh, you know, it, it will burn off. It gets warm enough so it burns, burns off a little bit of the green that can be in a Cabernet yeah. and gives it a cherry flavor. And this one's got so much cherry, ch I call it cherry cola, kind of a cherry cola kind of flavor. And that probably only makes sense to me, but I think if you taste it, you'll say, yeah, it does. Okay, and uh, time and space, I ask you every time, Tobin loves to think about where a wine will be consumed when he's making it. And what are you thinking with the Silver Reserve? You know what I, I tell my employees? I say, I go, I, I point at a, a case of wine. It's got, you know, 12 bottles. I go, what is that? They go, that's a case of wine. I go, no, it's not. That's 12 different occasions. Unless, of course, you drink it in one night. But, <laughs> but uh, th this one, this is, it's dark outside. You got the grill fired up. It's, I hate to say it. I mean, uh, it's a manly kind of wine. It's very yeah. manly kind of wine. But, I mean, the ladies like it also. But... It's just, uh, you know, it's a wine you want to have with a, a table full of food. Yeah. And just Whether that's steak or turkey or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, anything. Meat friendly, definitely. A lot of, you know, a lot of times this wine is, you could have all the food out there, but a lot of people just want to taste the wine. Yeah. I mean, that's the focal point for them, but... So this is such a good wine. I think the point is, yeah, you want to make it food friendly and enjoy it with food, but you might want to have a half a glass just by itself so you can oh, really yeah. appreciate the That's flavor. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Mm. Nice and soft and uh, not, not real heavy in tannin, so it's easy to drink, but it's got enough uh, grit to it that it gets your attention and stands up to any food you have. You know, when you said cherry in a in a Cabernet, I kind of balked a little bit, I, but you're right. You got cherry in a big wine. Sometimes it might not taste like cherry, but it makes sense somehow. Yeah. I don't know, but. Well, nicely done once again. Yes, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving.